I wanted to do a video on finishing the reeds. Mostly when you're down at the hall, you like to finish the reed, you know, according to the way the hall is, the temperature, and the acoustics of the place. And usually, most oboists, they tend to finish the reed down at the hall. You can get it close in your studio at home, but the final finishing is usually reserved for when you're down at location, no matter where that is. And this reed is, it's close to being finished, and I've been working on the tip a little bit. Most of the finishing is done in the tip. Uh, not wanting to speak, but it sounds okay. I'll just do a little bit to show you what I do mostly. I made these reeds yesterday, and but I want to make sure that they are fairly free. And what I do is it's really dusting. There's not a lot of scraping involved. It's very, very fine dusting of the tip. I try to get the tip so that it has a certain um, profile, but mostly it's kind of in the corners of the tip, depending on how vibrant the reed is. You're really not taking a lot off. It's a very, very minuscule amount. It's more like um, you're dusting the reed or a feather feathering the end of the reed, the corners of the tip, and getting that profile from the blend. Try to remove elements that of chatter or and when doing this also I find that when you're working with the corners of the tip, and usually that's where you go when you want to finish the reed, uh, if it's a vibrant piece of cane at least, it's kind of like a balance between the middle of the back and the uh, thinness of the corners, I find. But I'm just dusting. I want to get the reed to vibrate nicely. tone and to respond well so that when you have those big solos everything works nice now the blades are separated which is usually will give you a false crow but I think I can get this reed to function well Let's see what we got here So the reed's working pretty nice. Let's see if it articulates well. Yeah, that reed is working pretty well. I'll probably let it set and then come back to it. Let's try a different one. These have been soaked. Now I've been using cane that's rather hard and I find that when you have harder cane, you have to let it soak longer, sometimes much longer, um, for it to respond, depending on your climate. Uh, because you want the cane to all vibrate at a similar rate. This hard cane that I've gotten recently is, I've been fighting with it, but finally figuring out that I wasn't soaking it long enough. So here's another one, it's a little rough.
a little wild. It's got a wild streak in it. I try to squeeze it a bit. But these reeds that really vibrate well uh, and are a bit wild, you can tone them down. And it's in the tip. Really, finishing the reed is in the tip. And it's usually in the corners of the tip. And there's various areas in the tip. The corners end, uh, the corner center, and then the sides. Yeah. And the side center, the blend area. And these will all give you different qualities to the reed. Barely touching, really barely touching. You're not really removing anything. It's just very lightly dusting. And keeping the contour, or thinking about the contour. And really, that's where it's at. And finishing the reed and a little goes a long way very little you don't want any clicking none of that clicking stuff clicking the end of the tip you are barely touching the reed this will give you a nice smooth surface for those vibrations to travel over. Of course, if you do go pretty far with the tip, you may have to clip. And I try to do as much as I can before clipping because clipping is a very definitive way of finishing the reed. And if you can work the tip without clipping at first, that's always a good idea. And you keep the reed slightly light, but, but still playable. still a little wild but it's responding nicely so I'm going to still do more of the corners and this is the thing when finishing you know you're hunched over for a long time uh, trying to find that place that will give you the best results and you want to be careful not to go past it See, that's very little. Now these reeds may be somewhat over-soaked, but you can still get similar results. Yeah, there we go. Always dust, 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 dust. Feather touch, Not, no pressure, very little pressure. Trying to get the smoothness into the reed. Of course, this reed I really did a number on. pretty well it's a bit over soaked there's one thing I wanted to show with this finishing uh, about the crow of the reed which is real nice if you can get it there's a very high high pitch element to the crow when you're working with some canes or some gouges and if you can get it it really enhances the quality of the reed and it's really in the corners of the tip. You 
You know, this is really where the art form of finishing is. It's in the tip, very lightly, barely removing anything. Now, of course, this is all dependent on your gouge. If you have a really strong gouge, you won't be able to go after the corners as much. I can't quite seem to get that quality. So this reed has a balancing problem, and that is it's a little too um, it's a little too honky tonk, and it needs to settle. And so I'm going to scrape the back here to get it to sink because it's just open, you know, really open, and it doesn't want to conform. Now I could stick with the corners too, and I want to get that that quality out of the crow, but I'm not I'm not sure I'm going to be able to. But this is where it's at. Hmm? It's in the tip, the corners, the blend, the profile. That's not bad. Let's try another one. Uh, one final reed here. And another one that I was working on. Oh, I remember these reeds now. Okay, this one oh, is looking a little rough. Let's see if we can't fix that one too. Kind of a shrill. Yeah, I did really soak it. So I'm going to see if we can't fix it. But I would rather have a reed that's over soaked than under soaked because if it's not soaked enough, it, chances are you're going to remove too much cane. That doesn't happen when it's over soaked, believe it or not. You can finish a reed when it's like really well soaked and it will not change as much as if it were not soaked enough. So we're going to do some more of the same, because this one is really quite strident, and hopefully I can find that wonderful high-pitched, high pitch in the crow, which is nice, gives a really nice quality. But this is how you finish the reed. You gotta be very patient. It's good to have a sharp knife and you're essentially um, dusting the surface of the reed, smoothing, making the surface smooth. Right, you're not removing a lot. So it's very minimal. And it's a little bit at a time. I don't know why I always start with the left corner and finish with the right corner on the back side. I don't know why I do that. It's just habit. You'll have your own way. And stick with it. You know, if you develop your own um, method. And just stay with it. Okay, this one has got a little... Let's see, it's got a little uh, nicks in there. I was trying to separate the tip. And I'm going to try to uh, get that out. 
It's not a pretty read, but we can make it sound good. And you can see I'm staying, kind of staying away from the middle, and I'm just working from the blend region through the corners, off the end, but not no pressure. It's just no pressure. Just very lightly. This is how you get the reed to have really beautiful tone. And yeah, just remove. Now this is a very hard cane um, that I'm working with. That's some Alio I got, and it's 2018, 2019, and it is hard stuff. And I was really struggling with it. I just realized that, you know what, I just had to soak it longer. But then, of course, that gives you, sometimes it gives you adverse effects. But you can balance the reed better when it's soaked and vibrating well. Well, let's see what we have. It, you're not going to very see that much a difference, but I'm trying to make the tip smooth. I'm trying to help the profile of the reed. Squeeze it a little bit. Maybe that'll help. It's crowing all right. All right, so what we have here is a harder piece of cane, and working with the tip in the corners is not fixing it, it's making it worse. So what I have to do is I have to work the definition and usually you can do that in the corners here. Corners of the beginning of the tip because scraping the corners of the tip is not helping it. And what that means is I've got a hard piece of cane And it doesn't want to comply. And this is what happens with this kind of cane. It does not want to do what you want it to do. And you have to adapt. So that's why I have this, these nicks here. Because I'm trying to get the tip to Be more balanced. Because of its hardness, it doesn't as vibrate as well from the end of the tip. And you're really not going to know until you start doing it. You start getting in there and you realize, okay, what I was doing was not working and you'll have to adapt and change. If you work with soft cane, you can work with the corners of the tip a lot. You have a weaker gouge, you can do that. When you get a hard piece of cane, it doesn't respond that well to that kind of treatment. So we have to be a little bit more violent with it and more definition is what it needs and so this you can see a little bit more definition there and that should help with the way it vibrates and that did help it quite a bit But I still can't get that quality I'm looking for in this cane, in these reeds. When you're um, trying to finish the reeds, see this is the difficulty of doing it at home. You need to be in the hall in order to know if you need to clip the reed. I played in a hall once where, well once for quite a while, where I needed to clip 
have one more clip and then I played in another hall where it has one less clip and you're never really gonna know till you get down to the hall I wanted just to show you that you know when you're finishing the reeds it's very light touch there's a certain balance that you would like to get and a profile and response but more importantly it's the way the reed feels the response and the tone is what we're after be gentle with the knife dusting the corners feathering and you will get terrific results when finishing the reed